Hi, I'm Chef Matthew Stowe from Joey Restaurants, and today we're going to make guacamole using our new Joey at-home meal kit. Who doesn't love guacamole? I haven't met anyone. Let's start cooking so we can get to the party and have some margaritas. Okay, so let's go through our ingredients. Obviously, we have some avocados, some chopped up garlic, some sliced green onion, some cilantro, which we'll chop, a fresh lime that we'll juice, a little olive oil, a little bit of melon salt that we'll sprinkle on at the end for texture. For some heat, we have a Fresno chili. And then lastly, our white corn tortilla chips. Okay, so the first step in our guacamole is we're gonna juice a lime. And then we're gonna add our chopped garlic. And the reason for this is the garlic will kind of mellow out a little bit and almost pickle in the lime juice while we're getting all the other ingredients together. So next, we're gonna chop up our cilantro. I've reserved a couple of the nicest leaves for garnish. That's completely optional. I'll dump the rest of the cilantro out. And then just using a sharp knife, see some of these stems, those are totally fine to leave in there. And I'm just gonna roughly chop it up. This can go right into the bowl. Okay, so next up, we're going to clean our avocados. What I do is take a sharp knife, cutting around the avocado, separate it, and then using your knife, just gently, Remove the pit, and then using a spoon, just a soup spoon is fine, you're just gonna scoop the meat out from the skin. If you like your guacamole spicy, we've added a Fresno chili to the kit. Chop up as much as you like. The way I would do it is start at um, this end, where there's no seeds. The seeds is where a lot of the heat come from. We're gonna add our green onion and our olive oil. The olive oil gives in a really nice aroma. And then we're gonna mash it up with a fork. Important that we have a little bit of texture of the avocado still, so we don't want to mash it up too much. I'm going to add a little salt to taste. I like to add about a teaspoon. And then just gently mix. Make sure you taste to ensure that it's perfect. Excellent. You can of course serve it in the bowl you mix it in, or you can go into a separate bowl to make it you know, just a little bit nicer. I'm using a spatula. Sprinkle a little bit of melvin salt on the top. It came in your kit. This will give it a nice texture. Of course, it's completely optional. And then garnish with your reserved cilantro leaves. And there we have it, our fresh guacamole with Fresno chilies, cilantro, and white corn tortilla chips. Let's start the party.